The proposed Parks and Recreation Master Plan suggests at least 18 park buildings should either be renovated or replaced. Piedmont's building is just one example where misinformation has spread. There's concern that uh, you know some recreation centers are going to be closing and it's been um, already decided upon. The Parks and Rec manager says the master plan shows ideas. Fine points will come later. We're not looking to close the center before we have another plan already worked out and hopefully already completed before a center is closed so that there is no uh, break in the service at all. There's good reason for change. Of 25 park buildings, Grant Parks is one of three that are accessible under federal mandates and only one building is completely up to code. The next step is going to be the details and they still have plenty of opportunity to get involved to give their input. Addressing every park and getting funding will take several years. City councilors want to ensure park patrons get their say when the time comes before any changes are made to their parks. There's a proposed closure or even if they decide to have a little bit different usage, you know, people need to know that there's a process they can go through where they have input into that and if they don't agree with it, they can do something to change it. Until the time for each individual park's review. The master plan's recommendations are merely recommendations.